do and welcome. My name is Fungi D Riggs and welcome back to Let's Play of Doki Doki A Brand New Day. Thank you guys for your support on the channel and series so far. You guys have been amazing. We left off on Sunday where we have to meet Natsuki at our house so we can bake for the festival. We're baking cupcakes for it, by the way. So if you guys want to stay uh, stay here for the rest of the video, feel free to. If not, then we'll see you. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for all your support, like I said. And let's get into it. Whoa, it's Sunday already. Yesterday was intense. Yeah, we had also met up with Yuri, and which was pretty freaking fun too because you know Yuri, she, she's an intense person. Okay, but yeah, I've been getting increasingly anxious about Nasuki's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. I wonder if she'll act any different when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, she's been texting me a lot. We sent each other one text after exchanging messages to double check, but it turned into a long conversation. She's almost a different personality on the phone, using tons of emoji and cute languages. I love it. She's also really she also really likes complaining about things, but I kind of saw that one coming. <laughs> Sorry for the bad lighting, too. I know it's a little bit dark on one side and a little bit light on the other. It'll be okay, okay? I spend only a few minutes back at home anxiously awaiting Natsuki's arrival. Before I know it, she texts me to let me know she's outside the front door. Without delay, I open the front door to let her in. I stare, I stare in beautifully amazingness because the girl is too beautiful. I love you, Natsuki. So, hey, I... I was this close to saying, hey, pretty mama, she would have decked me for sure. I don't know what I was expecting, but seeing Natsuki as something other than her school uniform totally threw me off. Seeing her in such cute clothes is amazing. I dumbfoundedly speak my mind. You look beautiful. Jeez, don't make it feel so awkward already. It's going to be a long afternoon, so don't be weird just because you're not used to seeing me outside of school. Anyway, I'm coming in. I see you bought your. I see you brought a lot of stuff. Natsuki is carrying a large bag of whatever it is that's probably full of baking supplies. Oh, probably. Well, I didn't want to come all this way to find out that your kitchen wasn't equipped for the job. You bought everything I asked you to, right? Yeah, I did. Early this morning, Natsuki asked me to buy a bunch of ingredients if I didn't already have them at home. Good. Glad I could count on you to do your part. Well, of course, I'm not feeling you anymore. I'm surprised to hear Natsuki suddenly say that, rather than something snarky like she usually does. Could it be that she is a little different outside of school after all? Anyway, let's go to the kitchen. What? You're not even going to offer me? You're not going to offer to take this heavy bag from me? Where is your hospitality, Riley? Oh, you're right. How careless of me. Let me take your bag. I grab the bag Nasuki holds out to me. <clears throat> this is ridiculously heavy. What's in here, a manga collection? If it is, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> Do you even lift? I played that mod before also. That was like... One of the weirdest and scariest mods I've played for some reason. I don't know why. I carry that all the way here. Are you not impressed? I see now. Yeah, I'm really impressed, Nasuki. It seems like I always underestimate you. That was wrong of me. Sorry. <laughs> it's because I'm so small, isn't it? You jerk. Natsuki hits a fist into my chest. I felt the impact of the sound into my chest, but that was like literally hard. Ouch. I'm weak AF or she's pretty strong. Either way, I'm starting to get used to these punches. Hopefully I don't turn into a masochist or something. Hopefully you do, so whenever you do get hurt, you don't... You don't feel a god dang thing, man. Hey, hey, your size has nothing to do with it. Do you really hate being small that much? Uh -huh. Um, it's not like, it's not like I hate it. I mean, sometimes I like proving people wrong when they only think I'm worth my size. It's fun when I get to be small and other, and also better than other people. But, jeez, never mind. What are you making me say? Don't think you can make me talk about weird things just because we're not at school. Are we getting started or what? There's a lot of stuff I gotta teach you. <laughs> what? That's a little bit more like you. You're more fun when you just speak your mind like that. <laughs> hey! Now you are treating me like a kid. 
I was just trying to be nicer to you, you know? And just because I don't have a mature and sexy figure like Yuri doesn't mean you should treat me like... Uh... And Suki catches her words and her face turns red. I mean, Yuri kind of does have that nice, you know... <laughs> nice. Yeah, chest extension. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I remember that. And her face turns red. Now, Suki, forget it. I didn't say anything. I should apologize. Huh? I appreciate that you were trying to be nicer. I should have been a little more considerate, too. But also, if that's what you're thinking, then you should know that there are tons of guys who are into body, body types like yours. Uh, how would you know that anyway? Just trust me on this one. I smile. Hmm, gross. Hey, was that to me? Who else? Man, I get no respect. Let's just get started already. <laughs> you know, you get all sour when a girl calls you gross. I finally found a weakness, Riley. Natsuki smiles deviously. Please spare me. Mercy, mercy. Well, if Natsuki decides to dish out more insults like that, there's no way I'm not fighting back. She's satisfied enough for now. Natsuki starts to pull things out of her bag. So we can get started. Before long, the whole kitchen is a mess. Spoons, dirty bowls, flour, spilled liquid and spill I mean spilled fluid and plastic bags are strewn about every countertop. The mixer isn't big enough to make all of the batter at once, so we've had to do it several times. Meanwhile, Nasuki is babysitting all of my movements to make sure I don't mess up mess up her precious baking. Riley, where did you put the food coloring? The batter is going in the oven soon. So I need to fill the trays. I think it's still in the bag next to the table. What are you using it for? To color, to color the batter, of course. What are you, stupid, Riley? Yeah. Okay. I'm making each tray a different color. That way, even if the flowers are different, flavors are different, everyone can still pick their favorite. Oh, that's a cute idea. Cute like Nasuki. I mean, no. But anyway, uh, guys, make sure to leave it down in the comment section who do you think is the best girl of Doki Doki. Mine is, of course, Sayori, because, yeah, yeah, I know majority of people want to say Yuri because, you know, they they want to smash, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, are we doing anything like that with the icing? Uh, do you want to? Hmm, are you asking me? I don't really have a preference, so, come on, you're not putting any heart into this at all. Can you at least try to have fun? Oh, I'm having fun. I'm not really sure what Nisuki is trying to get out of me. Meanwhile, I see her separate the batter into smaller bowls and put a few drops of food and food coloring into each. Ah, that does look pretty cool. See? It's not like the baking is just about following instructions. The presentation is where you get to be creative and have the most fun. It's a million times worth it. It's a million times more worth it in the end if just looking at every Looking at it makes everyone's lives lighten up. Like the ones you made on my first day, huh? I recall Nisuki proudly presenting her cat-shaped cupcakes and Sayuri and Monica's delighted e expressions. I wonder if I can make Nisuki proud like that too. Yeah, maybe I will use the food coloring then. Sounds like you're starting to understand. This feels more adventurous than my normal cooking. Just make sure you completely finish mixing the icing before you mess with the food coloring. Yeah, it's getting there. We were using the electric mixer for the batter. So I got stuck with the whisk and a huge bowl for the icing. Huh? The icing's still all lumpy. Are you even trying? Well, yeah. It'll just take a little longer. Jeez, I'll be here all night if you do it like that. Maybe I want you to be here all night so I can... So I can read manga with you. <laughs> I saved myself from, yeah, yeah. Here, look. Nisuki grabs a whisk from me and uses her other hand to, to tilt the bowl back. You really need to beat the crap out of it. First hand experience. Oh, oh, I forgot that she gets beat by her dad. I mean, you know, sometimes. <laughs> The creator of this mod will actually say something that's very, uh, you know, out of hand. This wasn't out of hand, that was actually first hand experience though, but, but seriously, it was kind of freaking funny though, like, be, she needs to beat the crap out of it. After a few seconds, the consistency of the icing has already improved. See? 
Wow, how did you learn to, how did you learn how to beat the crap out of it so hard? <laughs> My dad. Damn. I'm not going to talk about that now. Nasuki changes back to the subject at hand. To emphasize what she's doing, Nasuki sticks a finger in the icing and pops it in her mouth. I, re I reluctantly start to do the same. Hey! Nasuki suddenly grabs my wrist. I don't want your gross fingers in my icing. Your icing, huh? Are you forgetting who helped? Who helped you with the work? I start to fight back, trying to inch my finger toward the bowl. Don't make, don't make me beat the crap out of you next. I'd love to see you try. Really, I would. I push harder, just enough for my finger to reach the icing. I triumphantly scoop some with my finger, as just as Nasuki tugs with all her might. Aha! The force of Nasuki pulling me, causing me to stumble, making her stumble in return. Gross! You got it on my face. Hell, <laughs> I see it is white. <laughs> got you. I smile with determination. Whose fault is that? There's a there's a glob there's a big glob of icing on Nasuki's cheek. Mm. She tries to reach it with her tongue, but it's too f but it's too far away. Jeez, you know what? Take this. Nasuki instead wipes it off her fa finger before shoving her finger toward my own face. You wish. I'm faster and sneakier. I grab her wrist with my hand before it reaches my face. Nasuki tries to use her other hand to to fight back, but I grabbed that one as well. I use all my strength to hold her down. Holy crap, she's strong. Oh, it's this type of thing right here, huh? <laughs> this is actually kind of cute like this. I might use this as a freaking thumbnail. Or I might use that little pose that, uh, that Nasuki was doing that I never saw before with a book and a spoon in the other hand. Like, I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> Stop. Nope. Honestly, you apologize for calling me gross. Fine, fine. I'm sorry for calling you gross. You know... I didn't mean it. It's just fun to see. It's just fun seeing you react to it. You do that to me all the time, you know. Saying dumb things like that to get a reaction out of me. You really shouldn't tease girls like that. Is that so? In that case, I probably shouldn't do this either. That sound effect just came back and it really pisses me off. Stop! God dang it, man. Like, no. And then next thing he's like, Ah, that's hasty. That's kind of a funny sound effect, I'm not gonna lie though. I take Nasuki's finger and put it in my mouth, licking off the icing. Yum. W what? Did you seriously just... Uh, <laughs> Nasuki is so surprised that she couldn't... That she can't even figure out how to get mad at me. Her face is entirely red. Wait, why am I holding her so forcefully? Riley? You really shouldn't do that to... Do that kind of thing to girls unless you really like them. You know that, right? Uh, yeah, about that. Maybe she's starting to get it? How did the mood turn to this so quickly? Nasuki gazes at me in silence. I notice her solid breaths. Why am I starting to feel dizzy? Huh? Wait, what happened? Out of nowhere, the smoke alarm goes, starts going off. Oh, I remember, yeah. I left the freaking dirty pan in there from Friday because, you know, I had I had cooked something for Sayori Monica. It's coming back to me now, guys, okay? Out of nowhere, the smoke, the smoke alarm starts going off. Nasuki rushes over to the oven. Is something burning? Do I smell toast? I thought you didn't put it, put the cupcakes in yet. <clears throat> no wonder. You left a dirty pan in here, dummy. How could you make a mistake like that? Dang it. It's the piece of pan from Friday. Fuuuuck! I should've washed it. Uh, you should've... You should've checked it before turning it on, dummy. Jeez. Yeah, that's on me, sorry. Nasuki uses an oven mitt to grab the blackened pan out of the oven. She sets it on the sink and rinses it with water. I turn on the vent fans on the stove. In another moment, the smoke alarm stops. Anyway, I'm putting them in the oven now. Okay. The tension from the moment before, bef the tension from the moment before still lingers over our heads, but the moment has already been lost. I watch as Nasuki slides the cupcake trays into the oven. Then I reluctantly pick up the whisk and continue with the icing. Feels like I haven't even been recording for like 15 minutes or near 15 minutes, man. It feels like six minutes. Like, like what the world? Oh, that smells so good. The cupcakes are ready to be pulled out of the oven. Oh my god. I gotta go to sleep after this, bruh. 
As soon as Nasuki opens the oven door, a blast of sweet smelling warm air fills the room. Look at how cute they all look. She proudly shows off the different color cupcakes in each of the trays. They'll look even better once we add the icing. Not like you need to tell me that. I brought decorating stuff, so I hope you can get creative. Here, scoop. Here, scoop the icing into these bags. Nasuki hands me some of the plastic bags. I have these nozzles that'll that will make it look nice and fluffy. This one can even make flowers. We probably won't be using it this time though. What's this one for? I pick up one of the nozzles that has a much thinner tip than the others. That one's really thin, so you can use it to make stripes or other patterns. But you can also use it to write stuff on a cake. Like happy birthday or whatever. Oh, I see. That gives me an idea actually. Huh? Well, it's a literature event, right? We could we could make it more we can make it more literature themed by writing a different word on each of the cupcakes. It would be fun to see people choose their cupcake based on a word they like. Uh, hmm? I was kind of expecting you to say something really stupid, but I didn't, so shut up. But that's actually a really cute idea, so <laughs> maybe I'm getting it from you. Wh what's that supposed to mean? I'm not cute. Come on. We're not at school. Nobody's judging. You really are cute though. I mean, I'm not gonna lie though. Remember that freaking CG that came out? The one where we were holding Nasuki down? Yeah, that's a really cute, uh, that, that, yeah, she's a really cute person, you know? You can't dress in that like this and not expect me to think you're a cute. Well, Nasuki's voice trails off. Same with you. Huh? Did you say something? No, no, nothing. Let's just get, let's do the icing. Nasuki picks up the pace and fastens a nozzle on to each of the bags. There's a lot to do, so we shouldn't be wasting time. Here, I'll show you how to do it. Without even giving me a second, without even giving me a chance to think about before, Nasuki quickly moves on. She shows me how to apply the icing, and then we each get to work. When we're finally finished, Nasuki puts them puts them all side by side to admire our work. Look at how pretty they are together. Yeah, they are Yeah, they are, aren't they? I wish I could have one now. Well, there's no reason you can't, right? I don't see any harm in that. Well, yeah, but but Dad's making dinner tonight, so I really need to save my appetite. I see. Sayori's the exact opposite in that regard. If she was here, we'd probably be down 10 cupcakes already. <laughs> and she would still eat dinner. If Nasuki wasn't around right now, I would I would have eaten all these cupcakes by now. I'll hold myself back. It's for the girls and the festival. Oh, come on, that's just unhealthy. Besides, when my dad cooks, I need to eat as much of it as I can. Why so? Doesn't he cook for you every night? Right? 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 Nasuki gives me a long pause. Well, damn, what an asshole. Well, anyway, I was hoping we could have time for manga, but I need to be home for dinner. Yeah, you know, if you actually read manga at my house, we wouldn't actually be reading manga, we would be performing the hentai manga. I mean, yeah, GG. <laughs> uh, already? That's the thing. It would have been nice to eat something together at least. Come to think of it, we didn't even have lunch. We were so busy. That sucks. Well, it's your fault for walking slowly. You should have you should have thought about that. It's not like you'll always have this chance. Man. As usual, Nasuki places the blame on me. You can bring the cupcakes tomorrow, right? If you and Sayuri each carry home, each carry some, then you can probably do it in one trip. Yeah, I can do that. And don't worry, I won't let her eat any. <laughs> <coughs> I wish she would listen to me the way she listens to you. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm all packed up. Good work today. You too. I'll walk you out. Hey, look at me being a nice gentleman. Just like that, Nasuki is already about to leave. It feels like the day went by in a flash. It really did. More than that, I wish there was a better chance for me to have more time with her. It was like some force was preventing us from doing so. Well, I guess I'll be off then. Thanks for all the help and everything. I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, Nasuki, huh? What you said before about not always having the chance. 
It doesn't. It doesn't have to be that way at all. I've had fun today. You showed me how to how fun baking can be, like you wanted. I had more than fun than I usually do with cooking. But aside from that, you can come over anytime, okay? I think that if possible, I like to spend more time like this. If you want to read manga or growl somewhere, um, do you really mean that? Nizuki looks at me tensely. She's trying to hide her expression. Heck yes, I really mean that. I want to spend more time with you. Riley, I thought you only cared about getting this done. No, silly, I care about you too. If there's if there's anything you want to talk about, I'm here for you, okay? Uh, I'm sorry I had to leave so early today. I didn't want to. I would really stay here longer if I could. I feel the same way as you do, so... Oh my god! Don't scare me like that, B-word! He's still cute, though. Natsuki suddenly gets closer to me. Standing inches from me, Natsuki leaks up at me. Riley, I just wish I could tell you more. I feel her fingers gently clutch onto my hand. I feel very loved right now, dude, actually. Her fingers, her hands are trembling as she doesn't want to let me go. I need to tell you, I think you might be the only one. You can tell me, I'm here for you. I, Nasuki suddenly jumps back. S Sayori? Cock block! Huh? Ah, hi, hi Riley, Sayori. Just now we were, <laughs> it's okay Riley. I just thought this, I just thought about to say hi. Uh, well, you should have came a little earlier. I'm already on my way out, so. Oh, really? That's too bad. Well, yeah, well, I'll still see you at the festival tomorrow, so it's fine. Just don't eat any cupcakes before then. Anyway, later. Clearly, com clearly flustered, Natsuki hurries off and Sayuri waves goodbye. Sayuri walks up to me. <laughs> Sorry for ruining the moment. It wasn't really a moment. She was actually trying to tell me something. I think Natsuki had a has a problem, Sayuri, and she won't talk to anyone about it. Well, I know you mean well, and I believe in you. Monica told me that you everyone is hurting, and you're doing your best at trying to help them too. So be good to us, all right? Natsuki starts to whimper. Oh. We get to hug her again, Chief. That's kind of freaking amazing, dude. I love just, I love this moment. <clears throat> I hold Sayuri in my arms again. I said it before, and I'll say it again. I love you. I will protect your happiness. All of you are the world to me. I'm so happy to hear that from you, Riley. You know, I have another dream. What? We just went to sleep in her arms, dude? Okay. I have another dream. Strange. I haven't had any dreams these past few nights. Um, my body is still floating, but it feels lighter. I hear a voice. Today is a very special day for all of them. Be sure you have something spe before. Be sure you have something special for each of them. Remember, you know what to do. I do. Okay. I wake to my alarm. All right, so this is where I'm in the video. Uh, you know, it has been a freaking great video. I love this video because you know, Funky Race has did great performance. You guys have been performance have yeah anyway thank you guys for your support um if you guys want more of this go ahead and leave a like i will also, i'll next video depends on if you like this one like let's reach uh, i don't know 10 likes and if i get 10 likes then uh, the next video will be on this one but uh yeah thank you guys for your support and as always i will see you guys in the next one peace out